Are you wondering how to create a new board in monday.com? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the various different ways of doing so, along with sharing with you some of my personal tips and suggestions along the way. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to your homepage. And from here, you basically need to decide where you want to create your board. So as an example, if I wanted to create a new board within this existing workspace, I would just press this add item to workspace button. And then I would select new board. So I'd select that, then we need to name our board. So uh, I'm gonna do new board for demo. And then you select your privacy. I want this to be main so everyone in my account can see it. And then you just need to select what you're managing in the board. So I'm gonna put projects uh, for this demo. And then basically all you need to do is select create board. And this will create your new board for you. Now bear in mind, this is creating a board uh, from the base template, okay? So this is what's set up in the account as the base template. So this is uh, every new board that I create via this method will basically appear like this. So I mentioned that this was creating a new board in the existing workspace. If we wanted to add it to a new workspace, then what we'd essentially need to do is, well, in this demo, we'd need to create a new workspace first. So add new workspace. Let's just call it new workspace for uh, the purpose of this demo. I'm going to uh, start from scratch. This will create the template boards. And then what we'd essentially then be able to do is select between the different workspaces. So now I'm in the new workspace and you again do the same thing. Plus add item to workspace, new board. And then that new board would be related to this new workspace and not the main workspace. So just make sure that you are, you know, you filter on the correct workspace ahead of creating a new board. So that's the first main way. The second way to create a new board is to make a duplicate of a first one. Now, this works particularly well if you're kind of working from templates or let's just say that you set up a board that you kind of want to mirror and you don't want to go through that kind of uh, process of starting afresh and making all those adjustments uh, again. So what you'd essentially do in that case is find the kind of template or board that you want to replicate, then click the three dots and then what you want to do is click duplicate board. And then at that point you just rename it. So you could say, um, in this case, it would be something like my second project. And then you get to choose what to duplicate, board structure only, board structure and items, board structure, items and updates. Now the second one is typically best. And then if you've got any subscribers to the existing board, then you can keep them as well. And then you just press duplicate. And then it will do that. And then you just essentially wait for it to load. And then when you've done it, it will appear on the left hand side with everything intact as we've selected. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with all that said, best of luck with monday.com and I hope you have an excellent day.